I was just a few days away from my surf trip. One of the last things I needed was a new backpack. And the surf shop up the road had one that I've had my eye on. I was about to walk down and I thought, why not paddleboard? Hey, what's up guys? Mike Blue with Rook for Avocados. We're testing out the Cool Pop paddleboard. I've tried this thing in like every scenario so far. I've been out on a, on the intercoastal. We've been out here on the beach. I'm really enjoying it so far. Lots of great handles. It's really narrow actually, even though it's pretty long. Uh, so it gives me a lot of leverage to move and then it's still When I walked the dogs at sunrise, there really wasn't much out there. I didn't have any expectations other than a little exercise. But then I saw my neighbors Joey and Nicole paddle out and, well, we all started to catch a couple waves. It was a perfect Sunday. I like to ride a little bit of everything. I ride long boards, short boards, boogie boards, paddle boards. The inflatables are really fun, but there is a little bit of a trick to them. They're so thick, they don't really have rails. So you gotta make sure that you don't keep any of it underwater. But when there's nice, long rolling waves and it's a little bit soft, I can stay out there for hours. My last pedal board actually had fallen apart over a year ago. So when I got a message from a company named Cool Ka asking if I wanted to try out their new board. Yo, for an inflatable beach pedal board? Don't try it, Not bad at all. Good job, Cool Ka. Before we head in, I wanted to show you a couple of things that I really like about this board that just make it great for any occasion that you're into. Uh, along the side here, we got plenty of D-rings. Hold that thought for a second. Uh, the D-rings are great because you can put a clip on almost anything and have it secured. I use this to have my music player up when I'm going down the creeks and whatnot. You can have your speaker here, your water bottle, whatever you need. Also, there's tons of straps. So if you want to put a cooler on the front or on the back, I really want to get into some inshore fishing on this thing. Uh, I really just like to do a little bit of everything. So I'm super stoked they gave me the chance to try this out. This is an 11 thick board, but it's 32 inches wide. So it's pretty narrow. Um, at first I was kind of thrown back by it, but I really like it because I can kind of get paddling strength. I'm able to paddle and turn efficiently. So it's a great combination of both. I thought I was gonna get that one. I was wrong about that. Um, but yeah, man, paddle boarding, there's a lot that can go wrong. So you wanna make sure you're being safe. You wanna make sure there's no one around you when you're trying to catch waves like this. Um, and really, even if you're just doing still water, I think the best course would either be go to like a safe area, like uh, an intercoastal or something like that, where it's still, don't go out in the middle of the tide, but try to find like a bay or something. Yes. But it's a really great way to slow down and also get a bit of adrenaline if you choose to go that route. You know, I used to be a long distance runner, paddle boarding out on the water for long stretches of time. It's super meditative, it's really relaxing. Sometimes I just go to find new areas, have a picnic out somewhere. It's really nice.